What's up, y'all? It's Fawcett Media, back with another video. Make sure you like the video, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification for all uploads. Hello? Hey, Kendra, how are you? <laughs> I you know what? I like people carving the bathroom because the bathroom has the best light. You look so pretty. <laughs> oh, thank you. You too. Thank you. What's your name, baby? Kiana. Kiana? Where are yes, you calling from? I'm from Houston. From Houston? All the pretty girls live in Houston, they say. Ah. Fact. That's How a fact. I'm 30. She's very pretty. Seven. 37? Mm -hmm. Okay, when's your birthday? July 3rd. July 3rd is a Leo or a Cancer? Cancer. Cancer. You have any kids, Kiana? I do. How many kids? I have, I have five. What? <laughs> What they say every child takes down a point or two. <laughs> she was starting off pretty good, man. She was starting off pretty good. Should have known. Should have known. You have five kids. Yeah. What are your kids' age? 18, 17, <laughs> 15, 11, and 9. I had to think about that. All the same. Can't. When you get that many kids, you, you just can't remember their ages, like, right off the bat. It's like, you know. It's like it's like your grandmother when she used to call you every one of your cousins' name before she got to you. <laughs> my grandmother used to hit my dad, my uncle, all my cousins, and then get to me. <laughs> dad? Yes. Was you ever married? No. How come you didn't marry the man you had five kids by? Right? <laughs> it was just too much. It was it was bad. It was toxic. I try to keep something together because I was raising my mother and father, but hmm. yo, I should have had jetted after two, but I didn't. Yeah. Okay. So it was toxic the whole, your oldest child's 18. So yes. how long were you dealing with him? For 12 years. 12 years? Mm -hmm. Well, your oldest child's 18. Yes. 12 years before that. It was, well, no, hold on. So we've been separated for 12 years, but let, hold on. Let me take that oh. back. Jeez. I met him 18. We had the baby. Yeah, so 12, yeah, 12 years. I've been done with him since I was 30. I'm 37. Well, seven years. So you've been done with him for seven years? Yes. <laughs> okay. Math is not her strong suit, I can see. <laughs> like, yeah, 12 years, right? But, um... I mean, you your oldest child's 18, so I'm assuming you dealt with him at least, like, for 18 years in some capacity, right? No, I left him when... I don't know how old she was. Okay, uh, you talking about you left him, but you said you dealt yeah. with him for 12 years. Oh, so you're saying... No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, I'm saying I, we've been done since I've been 30. That's what I wanted to say. Okay, you've been done since you were 30. Okay, yes. okay, okay. okay. Well, he had a revolving door on that joint. He was like, they break up and make up, have another baby, man. That, that's what that sounds like. Whew, got five of them. All right, so let's keep it going. So, Kiana, what do you do for a living? I'm a nurse practitioner. A nurse practitioner. Mm -hmm. um, and when's your, it's going to be your birthday. So you're a king. So them nurses, man, they're in demand. They make good money, but, yeah, it's rough. And she got five kids. Who's taking care of? I mean, the kids are older now. I guess they take care of each other. You got your 18-year-old taking care of your, your youngest, your 9-year-old, <laughs> picking them up and taking them to school and stuff, man. It's crazy. Cancer, a nurse practitioner, 37, yeah. Houston, Texas, five kids, same guy. Um, let's get into it. What kind of man are you looking for? I'm, I'm looking for a guy that's a protector, um, a provider, someone that's funny. He loves God. He loves family. Um, he desires to be married. I'm looking for someone that's funny as hell. Okay, well, she hasn't mentioned money yet, but it's gonna you're gonna need quite a bit of money to to move into this family, this ready-made family. So I can imagine, I, I can imagine it's coming up soon. <laughs> you know, with these multiple multiple children. Whew, that's a big one. Don't 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 have any of your own. It's gonna be the Brady Bunch for real walking around there. She, she she got five of them out the way. The Brady Bunch was only six. So don't if you got one kid with her, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and and she's still young enough to have a child at 37. 
Ah, the prospect. Maybe she got her two side. I don't know. Uh, a good communicator. Okay. Some simple okay. shit. But you know that she's not on the normal. He needs to have six figures and stuff right, right up front. I think she knows she has to make some concessions because of her situation with all these children. You know what I mean? Like, that's realistic at least, but it's rough. Anyway, hopefully she, she grows her a little more. Simple Are you yeah. done with having kids? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. You, you, so, that's a wrap. So the guy you think so, has to already have kids? Yeah, I feel you. Yes. And if he doesn't, then he got five. <laughs> Okay, Damn. so no more kids for her. She just resigned. She got five. Hey, but one thing, I'm not even going to hold you. Damn, this thing. One thing, I'm not even going to hold you. Uh, that, <laughs> hey, yo, there's a reason she got five kids, probably. There's a reason she got five kids, probably. That thing probably fire. That, that thing probably fire. <laughs> Dude couldn't stop giving her kids. He was like, oh my God. Oh my God. Um, what's the age range you want to date? Um, I'm thinking probably my age. If I went a little younger, maybe 35 to about 46. I like them older, but 35, 35 is okay. That's probably the youngest I will go. She definitely needs an older guy. I don't know a lot of young guys, especially no young guys with, with no kids that are going to sign up for that or the surrounding areas like um i don't know dallas is a few hours away but yeah i would prefer him to be in houston so i want to be able to be like yo come through i don't want to be on no i see you this weekend type stuff so okay okay so yeah. kiana um do you have an appearance requirement um <laughs> i want him to not be obese but you know, just let the height and the weight make sense. You know what I'm saying? If you six hmm. three, you may be able to be two thirty. I don't know, but um. Wait a minute. <laughs> that's still, that's still reasonable. I would say two thirty. Two thirty is not like crazy. It's not obese. It's not too big for six three. Obviously, but she's asking for six three. You might get a five seven with these five children. I'm, I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? Are you good with that? Ladies, are you good with that if you're in that situation? Because honestly, you might just want a warm body at this point. At this point. Like I said, she's still attractive, so some dude's going trip to trip up and start simping, but uh, <laughs> it's not looking good for the, for the top 10% of dudes. You know, a lot of times I think ladies don't know how tall people are because... They just throw 6'3 around like that's just normal height. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's rough. It's rough to say that. You know what I mean? That's elite height. I mean, you you could, you know, NBA players are 6'3. Yeah, you can't be no 5'5", five, five, 230. But, yeah. You need to take 5'5", five, five, 230 okay. over there. You got to make the height weight make sense. Okay, yeah. so, gotta make it make Kiana, sense. you say you dealt with your child's father seven years ago. Was that your last relationship? Yes. Okay, so what was the last time you've been intimate with a man? Uh, June. Of this year? Yes, ma'am. So, oh, why can't you relate relationship with that person? <laughs> <laughs> because um, our giggles. lifestyles don't, don't match up. He cool as shit. We still cool, but... Um, he was just coming over there hitting. He was like, hey, I, hey, you know I'm not gonna be serious with you with these five kids. Sorry. And she was cool with it for the moment, but I guess now she's she's got other plans, you know what I'm saying? So, hey, shout out to him. He's trying this polyamorous, not the polyamorous, he's trying this poly lifestyle. I tell you. So, yeah. and I ain't with it, so. But we still cool. <laughs> so he wanted to have more than one girl. Yes. Okay. So, but yeah. you guys weren't, were y'all in a relationship in June or y'all were just messing around? No, nah, we were just messing around. That's all. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. So, um, does the guy got to make a certain amount of money? Um, <laughs> I think he should make enough where he can provide 
I mean, I don't I don't want to be like, oh, he has to make X amount of money, but be able to take care of your family. Your family that I'm giving you is what she means. <laughs> be able to take care of my five children so I can spend my money on other things. Now, this is the thing, like, you know, so many people brag on their nurse salary, you know what I'm saying? You should be cool with whoever comes in there, right? Because you got it. But see, that's the thing. We don't ever talk about the fact that what women get is for women. And when a man comes into the relationship, what's his is hers. You understand? So, I mean, realistically, in a real situation, you're going to be splitting somewhat the bills. And you might be making more. But nobody's going to ask for that on this type of show, unfortunately. And that's realistically where they should be. Well, if we get married, then yes. But, like, uh, if we're just dating, getting to know each other, I'm hoping that we're dating to be married. So, yes, you would have to think about, can I provide for this lady and her children? You only have three living in the home, but, like, can I provide for these people? Just only three. Only three. <laughs> Only three living in home right now, so you know. Okay. So I, I don't. Three is better than five. I guess. I guess you're right. So I'm, I would say to take care of a family of three, you got at least probably making eighty, ninety thousand, maybe. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. I know what I make takes care of me and my children. So I have a child in college, so I know what I make takes care of it, but. So then he should be able to cover his expenses and everything should be at the same place, right? But no, she wants him to take his money and match what she's got. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I mean, I guess you could live a better life like that, but at the same time, like, come on now. Come on. I don't know what the you know, what would be the bare minimum to take care of a family? Right. So let's, I want to ask that question because some, like in hosting the show, I get men who don't mind dating women with children. Then I get men who don't want to date women with children because they feel like they don't want to provide, you know, for mm -hmm. somebody else's child. But then I have women who say, you don't got part of my child, my child's father. So um, how involved is your children's father in their life? Is he a, is he a hands-on father? Is he a financial provider? Um, what is the involvement your child's father has with, with um, your children? Um, he's very much involved. Well, we live in two different states. I'm from the Midwest, so now I'm living in Houston. So he comes here every three months, fly in and see the children. And uh, he's financially, you know, takes care of them as well. But if I have children in the home, then, you know, what I'm supposed to do, go give them to their father? So no. you have to... You know, it's been said that sometimes uh, if a woman does want to seem more appealing to a man, that might be a very good option is to have them live with their father. You know, with her being 37 years old and, you know, relatively young, like that responsibility has been hers. And, you know, you know, most women want to be with their children, you know, and, and be involved in their raising. But it might be an option where you send them to their father. It might be an option where he takes over from here. You raised two and got them into college or at least one into college. So, yeah, why? Why is that not an option? I don't know think about that too you know oh no no listen your children are your children but a guy mm -hmm. has to think about like you said a guy has to again and I, i'm not a dating expert i'm not a relationship coach but i'm a professional yeah. host and as a professional host one of my great traits is listening and mm -hmm. with hosting this show for almost two years one of the things i learned is um, that is the that is the caveat when men date women with children. So when you even said it yourself, if a guy dates you, you want to date with marriage in mind. So you didn't marry your child's father though, right? No. 
so you want the next guy you date though to marry you so that will be a requirement for him to date you yes we gotta so be on want, yes okay so you're requiring him now get i'm gonna I'm I'm a play yourself back she's got she's playing a dangerous game here she really could just walk this tightrope and make it happen but it's going to be delicate. It's going to be delicate balance because, like, a lot of men aren't going to want to sign up for this. I, I, I know you say it's only three. It's not two. But a lot of men are going to want to keep it casual, just like the last dude. Because you never married your child's father, which would have been the obvious, the obvious solution to this. I mean, if you were around him long enough to have five children and you didn't get married, there's there's a big issue there. Or you just don't get married at all, but you all still keep something together. But she moved to Texas. So that, I guess that's out. But, you know, it's not nothing saying that you can't reconcile. I mean, unless it was just a case of, you know, just extreme, something extreme that was going on in a relationship. But you're there for five. I mean, if I was him, I'd want to be around my five children. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I don't know. To you okay so you're requiring a man to marry you also provide for the three children that live in your home and you are saying you're not having any more kids so he's signing mm -hmm. up to marry right. you take care of your three children and if he wanted his own biological child he cannot get that from you correct correct do you think that's unreasonable um well most men that i that i do date are 45 and they got grown children they ain't looking for to have anymore so okay. i really want a man that already has his children i wouldn't even want to entertain a guy that's like yo i want children because i know i don't want anymore but no i get where you coming from though yeah let me ask you that the guy that you're dating that's 45 are they trying to get married or are they trying to date you're a beautiful <laughs> guy so i i think one thing a challenge you might have is because you are a beautiful girl so i think you have no men problems I think mm -hmm. you will always have male companionship. Um, I think there's plenty of men that wouldn't mind being in your life. But it won't be the men that she necessarily wants or needs, right? It'll just be, it'll be some, like I said, a warm body, you know what I mean? Alive. And she should actually consider that. I mean, I, I know she's probably holding herself in high regard because she is attractive somewhat attractive you know what i mean like but yeah she's she's definitely got to make some decisions some better decisions or just you know like i said reconcile um i'm not even saying that they might not want to marry you but mm -hmm. do you make that a requirement do you have sex without relationships i mean without a commitment or are you or would you be willing to be intimate without a relationship um now I will say I wouldn't want to be intimate with our relationship. Before I have, I was just out here having a little fun when I moved to Houston. But like now, I really want <laughs> something serious. Okay, because I would say for you to weed out the men that want to be with you, you probably should make that a requirement to see how many men mm -hmm. just want to sleep with you, opposed to what the want to. They all want to sleep with her. That's the problem. You know what I mean? They're they're gonna sleep with her, and you know, it's gonna it's gonna lead her down a path that she doesn't want to go. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a rough it's a rough place to be for her, but like, you gotta be understanding of the men in this situation. Like, that's a lot to take on, even if you are 45 and up, even if you already been through the kids and things. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of Extra, especially if you've got your kids done already and, and grown. <laughs> like, now I'm going to go back and raise three more? Oh, my God. Nah. Rise to the occasion of what you desire, which is right. dating for marriage and also dating with the idea of marrying you and accepting your th the three children that live in your home, at least. Um, so, and, and you would, and I'm quite sure maybe you'll be able to weed it out to see what mm -hmm. man stays around longer because they really want to get to know you. Or the man that stays around because you're beautiful and he wants to smash. 
Right. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, um, do you have an appearance requirement by any chance? No, just a. Well, I want him to definitely be black. I love my black men, and I just just try to be in shape and smell good and all that. Good stuff. Shout out to the black okay. men. Okay. I'm, I'm not picky. You're not picky. Does he have to be in Houston? Yes. He has to be in Houston. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you tell me when your last relationship was. So, last question, I guess, for you is why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Um, because I'll do my best to take care of him emotionally, physically, um, and mentally. It, I know how to get PPP loans without going to jail. Wait a minute. <laughs> you might want to stay away from that. I know how to get them PPPs. I know how to get them PPP loans. Uh, that wait, 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 you said... Wait. Even without a business, oh, that was a joke. I was just joking, but I, I do know, know someone who joking. does that. You, does that. Uh huh? You wasn't joking. You say you know how to get the PPP low without going to jail? Yeah, I do. She's a scammer. <laughs> scammer. What was and what was the trick? It no, it's, I just got the plug on that. I don't do it, but I have the plug on on it. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. So if it ever comes around again, this is who you need to hit up, people, if you want to stay out of jail. All yeah. right. Um, some more benefits of dating you. <laughs> okay, um, if you want someone who can get along with your daddy's ratchet side of family, your mama's bougie side, that's me. I'm well-rounded. Um, <laughs> I'm an effective communicator. And I, I really, for real, some real shit while all the other side stuff. I definitely love family, like, and God. That's number one for me. So if you want someone that's a homebody, that loves family, that wants to take care of her man, that's me, all in a nutshell. All right, so, yeah. That's a lot. That's a lot to deal with. Um, unfortunately, like, she's going to be in a situation where somebody's going to want to smash. It might be the guy that she wants. And he's going to have to make some hard decisions. And most of the time, like, like I said, if she got that fire, <laughs> it's going to be hard to avoid. She better get her tubes tied because she. I, I kind of see she's going to end up with a, a child that's about the same age as her grandchild at this, at this rate <laughs> with the kids already out of the house. Yeah. Um, they're going to shoot the club all up on Kiana. That, that five kids with no com commitment was a strike against her that's – probably going to follow her all throughout her adult life, at least until the rest of the kids are, are grown. Yeah, that's best of luck to you. That's a tough one. Anyway, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification for all uploads, hit the super thanks, and I'll catch you on the next one.